Hello guys, this is a quick video on how to control XBMC on your computer with your iPad. If you have your iPad uh, at home and you always wanted to control XBMC that's on your computer, uh, I have my computer, I have a Mac Mini connected to my TV. As you can see here in the background, this is uh, actually my TV right now. Uh, I'm on my iPad. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm recording both screens uh, together. You can see here I have XBMC right there. So let's say you wanted to open XBMC directly from the iPad. You pretty much download this app. It's called Remote. I like it very much. It's a very good app. Click on the application. If you didn't see that, you click Applications. Let me just zoom in a little so you can see Applications. Scroll to XBMC and open it. Okay. So pretty much here you have your trackpad and cursors, volume up, volume down, play etc. Alright, I'll do a quick demonstration on this skin, I believe is the, I'm not sure if it's the Ion Knox. Oh yes, it is the Ion Knox skin. And unless they did an update last time, it did not accept mouse input, so well, I guess this time they don't care so much. So there must have been an update. But you can, as you can see, now you can you can do uh, both mouse inputs, or you can just tap to the side by pressing the up button. Oh, that one's not the one. Uh, here you go. There you go. Move the side button. All right. So you can see, skin flows very well, and it's very fast. So I press, no lag, no anything. So let's go to programs and open Nobby X. Press play to go into the to get into it, and then same way, you press up and down to move up and down, and then side to side to move side to side. All right, we'll open Navi X. All right, and let's say you wanted to get out. Press the menu key, and then just come down all the way to exit. All right, but let's just stay here for now. And let's go down to, let's go in here. So you can see, pretty much, you can control this very well from your iPad. Just simple application. Control your mouse from right here as well. It's a great app. Love it. I use it a lot. And pretty much, you have everything you need right on your iPad. So your iPad can pretty much be, you know, if you want to switch applications. Same way. So let's say we want to go to Google. There you go. Google Chrome. Switches right away. Let's switch back to XPMC. Very fast. Alright, that's pretty much all we have for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends.